to or welcome back to Velvet and Toads where I share two or three videos per month on everyday nature, home and garden in France where I've lived for years with my French husband. Whichever holiday you celebrate at this time of year, I hope yours was wonderful. For me it was Christmas that offered some respite from the turmoil of 2020 as I snuggled up next to the fire and Christmas tree and uh, slept in late in the uh, flannel sheets that we bought together in my last video. Fortunately, there was more to 2020 for me than the chaos we've all witnessed. It was also my first full year making content for YouTube. So I'd like to take this moment to review it with you, my viewers and see where we go from here. First, we'll see bits of your top five favorite videos as ranked by YouTube. Then we'll look at my top five. I'll link them all in the description below. Throughout and at the end, I'll be asking questions to help me determine which direction to take in the upcoming year. Since Velvet and Toes is a small channel, I can steer it any direction we'd like to go. And if you're new here and want to come along for the ride, just hit subscribe and that little bell. We'd love to have you along. So without further ado, let's begin the countdown of your top five favorites. Number five was a surprise for me when I looked at the figures because I only posted it a few days ago. It's the Shop With Me Zara Home video where we take a stroll down the Champs-Elysees before ducking into Zara Home to take a look at the Christmas decorations and then coming back to my place to install the hall. Next comes a living ivy topiary basket that I made for Easter, though it would work any time of year. I have to admit, it turned out pretty cute, but I didn't really think it showed in the video, so I'm happy this has been a popular one. Ty with the basket topiary is my very first video uh, on making your own DIY self-watering planter box. Today we're going to be looking at how to do a self-watering planter so that your plants stay healthy and happy while you're off globe trotting. Number two is a Bastille Day Brocante flea market that I shot last summer in Provence. There are no cash machines anywhere in that valley, so I lost out on a steal of a deal, a copper jam pot, but it was a really fun day. So I'm guessing that's what comes through in the video. The number one video, outranking the others by far, is another ivy topiary, a heart-shaped topiary this time. From YouTube analytics, I can tell that it was particularly popular with our Indian viewers, so I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for propelling it to the top. Flowers wilt, cards fade, and chocolates are soon consumed. But a heart-shaped ivy house plant topiary will live on indefinitely. Granted, it takes care and attention, but then again, it doesn't love. Moving on to my five favorites, this is where I start to have some serious questions for my regular viewers, or for any of you if you don't mind answering, because none of my favorites rank anywhere near as well as the others, and I could use your help understanding why. My fifth and fourth favorites are both laundry videos that I shot in Provence. Both are really short, one is under two minutes, and both started out ranking well and it just kind of fizzled out. One I thought was kind of funny, it's about washing men's shirts according to the advice given to me by a French fashion designer friend. So a few weeks ago, Bruno and I were vacationing with another couple and she saw me wadding up Bruno's shirts and about to throw them in the washing machine and she said, Oh, me no, me no, me no, me no. You absolutely cannot wash a shirt that way. The other I thought was interesting is it reveals the secret behind the old wives' tale about the moon bleaching your laundry if you leave it out overnight. 
So will it? Yes, and on every other night as well. But the moon has nothing to do with it. Hi, darling. The balloon. Nor do toads. My third favorite is on preserving Moroccan-style bergamots, though it works just as well with uh, ordinary lemons. I love salt-cured lemons, and I love the colors. I mean, there's even a rainbow. But it hasn't been very popular. And again, I'd like to figure out why. Same goes for my top two favorites, neither of which ranks very well at all. One, for instance, is another brocante uh, flea market vlog on the Basque Ghost of France. So I thought that would work well given the success of the Provence brocante. I show the local beach houses with their typical architecture, including one where the surrealist uh, Man Ray shot one of his most iconic films in the Roaring Twenties. And of course, we explore the Brocant, but it's been something of a flop. Similarly is my other favorite on crystallizing mimosa flowers. Now, I know not everyone has access to mimosa flowers, but a lot of people do. Plus, I shot it on the beautiful French Riviera, and I included a hundred-year-old mimosa flower parade. Before we get started, I thought I would take you to the Mimosa Festival in the aptly named Baume les Mimosa. Bien, mesdames, mesdemoiselles et messieurs et les enfants, bienvenue à toutes et à tous ici au cœur de Baume les Mimosa pour les 100 ans du Corso Fleury. Should I have skipped the vlogging on the Basque houses and the mimosa flower parade? Should I have jumped straight into brocon shopping and crystallizing flowers? I'd really like your opinion. This leads me to my other questions. I can see from YouTube analytics that people actually do like the content if they click on the video to watch it. The problem is people aren't clicking. So I've been switching out some of the thumbnails recently, you know, the images that you click on when you are scrolling through YouTube. I've been switching some out, experimenting with different looks, and I, if you don't mind, I would love it if you could just take a quick glance through the different videos and let me know which thumbnails uh, you like best or which ones draw your attention or which ones make you want to click on them and tell me why is it the lettering the photos the color the layout the presence of people uh, what is it that would make you want to to click and i would love your constructive criticism lastly for my regular viewers i'd like to know which video has been your favorite and what you'd like to see me do or see me do more of in the coming year. Again, I'd really appreciate your input on uh, any of these questions, which I will sum up clearly in the description below. And I'd like to thank you in advance for helping me shape the channel into something that we can all enjoy. Thank you again, and see you in the new year. Have a safe and happy one.